Hello and welcome to another NoGraph uh, webinar. We are super excited uh, to showcase uh, what we have said that we're going to showcase today. And with me today as well, I have, uh, look here, Oscar. I actually look into this and it was over one year ago we uh, did a webinar together. Really? Hi everyone. Yeah. So the thing is that I always ask if I can be in the webinar, mm -hmm. but for some reason uh, Olivia and Carl say that I'm not really, you know, I don't belong in the webinars, but uh, <laughs> yeah, great uh, to be back at least. So welcome. Appreciate You're more that. More than welcome Oscar. Thank you. It's going to be great fun. Last time we did this, it was like 35 degrees in the studio. Now it's a little bit more reasonable. It's a uh, Swedish summer, so it's uh, 15 degrees and a little bit cloudy. Uh, so now you know that. Well, uh, as we mentioned, we're gonna, I mean, we have been doing a lot of stuff. It's not that you not have been around here at NoGraph. We have been developing a lot and listening a lot to our customers. And uh, we have something that we are super excited to show to you today. Uh, and that is the uh, NoGraph 3.0 update. Uh, before we jump into this, I mean, there's always a reason why you develop something, right, Oscar? Yeah, but definitely. And, and, and before you continue with your super PowerPoint slide, I just want to add that uh, the uh, NodeGraph 3.0 version is like the biggest change that we have done since we started mm. NodeGraph. And I think after seeing, well, it's not going to be a demo because I'm not allowed to do that because <laughs> apparently you will lose interest if I do that, <laughs> uh, according to Carl and Olivia. But uh, anyway, the, the 3.0 update is like, a major change for, for NodeGraph, yeah. and especially uh, when it comes to, to understanding your data and, and, and to be able to find it and identify it within in NodeGraph. So mm -hmm. hopefully you really, really like it. Cool. Yeah, uh, I've seen it, but I'm also very excited to see <laughs> it when you do uh, present it. But if we start off, I mean, with the data confidence gap, we have been discussing this in a lot of uh, different webinars and all our content. There's a lot of information out there that we have produced. Uh, but somewhere in the line, uh, we would like to say uh, with uh, less data confidence, you're not able to scale your understanding of data with the same pace as it increases. And just to look into uh, some of the figures, I mean, if we have the data confidence in, in, in numbers, uh, still, 84% of data is managed by IT, but 75%, uh, as you remembered, still believes that business should be responsible for IT. And as we are discussing the data confidence gap, uh, meaning that the lack of communication between the data producers and the data users, I mean the difference between the one who are uh, calculating, transform and producing the data uh, towards the one who is actually analyzing, take initiatives and make decisions based upon data. Uh, so there is a, a very, very interesting uh, gap and communication behavior between this. And we honestly believe that NoGraph is one uh, part of the way to uh, uh, reduce the data confidence gap. Because data is important and um, if you are not treating your data correctly, uh, it will have an impact of your uh, company's strategic output of what you're doing and uh, want to achieve with your company. Also, data quality, it's still uh, a major concern. 84% of uh, CEOs on a global level are worried about the quality, uh, data quality in their organizations. Uh, almost 7 out of 10, ten times, uh, data, uh, data rela related issues uh, lacks from, stems from a lack of, uh, of data quality. And there is a small percentage that means all the basic uh, data quality standards. I mean, a, a big part of uh, doing this upgrade, uh, as I mentioned, we don't just do upgrades for the sake of doing upgrades. So uh, uh, we have uh, the last, uh, let's say, 12 months really uh, been digging into how are our uh, current users and customers using NodeGraph? Do they have any other requirements? Also, what are the big trends? I mean, if we are looking on a real helicopter perspective in, in terms of these... Um, data quality, data lineage, uh, data cataloging features. Uh, so would you uh, talk a little bit about uh, the approach we've had mm. developing this and also what the outcome has been? Yeah, no, but always, I mean, we, we have always tried from the beginning to include people in the NodeGraph uh, development process. Mm. I mean, we believe that our product, if it 
should be able to deliver value to mm. the customers. We need to include partners and our customers in our development process. Mm. And we always try to be very open-minded when we hear you know, input and suggestions. Uh, but also what we've seen, I mean, over the last 12 months, we have increased our customer base very rapidly. Mm. We have so many more customers now, meaning that we get so much more input into our product. Uh, and we have seen that there are features that we, you know, have been lacking in our product. Uh, we, but we have also seen that people are using the product in a way that maybe we didn't expect from the beginning. Mm. So I would say the 3.0 version is a combination of, you know, features that we have heard from our customers and, and also new areas that you are actually able to use our product for. Mm. So. Uh, yeah, it's uh, it's a combination, I would say, of uh, mm. but 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 especially it's driven by by our you know growing customer base. Yes, sure. which is always exciting, and that's I mean one of the um, so to say major parts of running a business is to listen and to really actually see what are they requesting out there, and can we do this within our own scope as well? So it's super exciting, uh, and thanks for that. Uh, this is just like a single PowerPoint slide showing I um, mean the evolution of uh, Nordgraph as a company or as a feature feature based what we can uh, produce and what our output is. I mean we started 2016 with one dependence explorer and now we have a full data quality platform including lots of integrations to other metadata uh, vendors out there. Uh, we have an also almost uh, entirely new data quality manager which is based upon the test module but we have added so much more uh, features and value based um, uh, things that you can do there. Uh, uh, export import was a quite huge topic. We've uh, received that in quite a lot of uh, our talks with customers. The ability to both export Node lineage as an integration or import other lineage into yeah. this or other data. So it's uh, and one. Uh, sorry for interrupting no, your no. fantastic PowerPoint <laughs> presentation here. But no, uh, one thing with the import lineage, I think, for you guys been working with lineage for quite some time, you know that there are a few tools out there that do lineage, maybe not for click products, mm -hmm. uh, but for other tools. Yeah. The challenge with those tools are that they are, you know, they are, even though you, they have lineage, it's quite complicated to understand. Mm. So what we see that our customers now tend to do is that they actually import, for instance, if you have a data warehouse before your click solution, they take that data from the data warehouse into NodeGraph mm meaning that they get the full picture all the way from your click applications, not only to your extract or, or create layer in click, but also all the way back to your data warehouse where it starts. Mm. Uh, really powerful stuff. And it becomes very nice because NodeGraph Dependency Explorer is so easy to use and understand. Yeah. So that's a typical use case for the import lineage part, mm. which has been a, it's a, it's a huge thing that you can actually do that. Really cool, actually, yeah. really cool. And of course, we are going to showcase this a little bit later, but data catalog, which also is a way for uh, meeting customers uh, that has uh, lots and lots and lots and lots of nodes. Uh, I mean, as I see, a data catalog is more like an enhanced uh, search functionality. Perhaps that's wrong, or what would you say about that? But data catalog is actually pretty fun because data catalog was part of uh, Nodegraph alpha or beta version back in 2016. Mm. But back then we felt that we didn't see the value <laughs> that a catalog okay. would bring to the table. Yeah. Yeah. And, uh, and uh, we have felt fairly strong around that yeah. here at Nodegraph. I mean, we have all the information. I mean, we have more information than any other vendor when it mm. comes to building a data catalog. Mm. But, you know, we felt that will someone actually use it? Uh, and Probably I have to say that we were wrong yeah. <laughs> because people have yeah, asked, us, <laughs> asked us about the data catalog feature and we said, yeah, but really? Why? Mm. But now we actually see, I mean, now since, and we already have people using data catalog now, mm. by the way, uh, from the beta version. And now we really see that, yeah, it brings a lot of value. Yeah. And the thing with the data catalog is that you capture not only, you know, your click specific files mm. in this catalog, you capture everything that is related in your click environment. Yes. I mean, can you imagine just being able to type in this Excel file budget something mm. in the catalog? 
pops up in the in, in no graph mm -hmm. and from there you can then continue on to the more you know technical aspects of lineage uh, and how often is this used and who within my organization are actually using this the yeah. excel file not directly but you know indirectly because they are using this click view application over here mm. they're using indirectly this data mm. and uh, yeah I, yeah i have to say i i was wrong the data okay. catalog is actually real cool no worries Oscar. <laughs> my bad <laughs> but uh, three years later we, we i mean we have enabled it again in the in the ui perfect yeah, I mean, it also shows, I mean, the biggest trends with data literacy. You actually can use this data catalog to enrich and enhance your data, such as a business glossary. We've already discussed that. Mm -hmm. uh, so it's, um, well, it's su a super interesting take and it also uh, allows for more usability and also more, especially for me, more non-technical usability yeah. as well. To just get an understanding of what is the data I'm actually looking at increasing or decreasing the data confidence uh, gap. And also, I, I should mention, uh, we have seen in the data catalog, one of the main reasons for bringing that back to the UI has been uh, our larger customer. Everybody mm. is large customer, if you yes. would ask them, right? Yeah. <laughs> but we have some really, really large customers. Yes. And, uh, and, and I, uh, I fully respect when they go into the dependency explorer, mm. I mean, so much information, so much data coming at you, and, you know, like this. Yeah. But using the data catalog, you can, you know, very powerful search function, mm. identify what you would actually like to look at. Yeah. And then from that, you know, area, you can continue if it's, if it's, if it's a click script you're interested in, or if, is it a business glossary? Mm. Or is it, you know, the collaboration with your teammates? You know, mm. what is the rating on this data source and things like that? Uh, and you can, of course, continue into the Dependency Explorer as well. So it's yeah. uh, it's uh, it's still very powerful. The Dependency Explorer we have not exclu excluded. No, I mean way. you still so have still that a... full functionality. Yeah. This is just a different way of entering sure. into the Dependency Explorer. So cool. Uh, and then also, uh, I mean. Um, the test-driven approach. I mean, we have been discussing that a lot, a lot. We see interest. We have customers running it. Uh, primarily, what I see, if I look into my data, it's uh, larger organizations that are doing this. Perhaps there is a QA uh, uh, organization on place already or a COE or something like that. But I mean, just to talk a little bit about why we are so passionate about the mm -hmm. test-driven approach uh, in Click. Yeah, but, but I think... Whenever I speak about a test-driven approach in Click, it's always a high five, mm. right? Yeah. Everybody believes that, of course, that should be natural. You should have a test-driven approach in Click. Mm. Uh, you know, when we, I mean, we had this booth at Connections. Yes. We talked about test-driven approach. Everybody was, like, yeah, that's that's the yeah, definitely. I'm gonna do that. That's the first thing I'm gonna do when mm. I'm back in the office on Monday, mm. right? Mm. <laughs> but no one does it, right? Mm. Because I think the reason why you haven't done it before is because there hasn't been really a tool for helping you doing that. Yes. So I think now we provide a tool, mm -hmm. but still we need to, you know, start using the tool. Mm -hmm. And I think that's that's the journey that we have started, and mm -hmm. we've seen you know more and more people adapting to our test uh, module. Mm -hmm. But this will take time because, you know, if you have been delivering click solutions for over maybe 10 years mm. to start with a test driven approach uh, could be a bit difficult. But then again, I mean, we, I think we have a, a good process, a good strategy for how you can start working with a test module. You know, yeah. you always say start small and then you can uh, grow it within, within your different, you know, mm. applications and QVDs and things like that. So yeah, I, th I really believe that the test driven approach in Click will be, you know, that would be standard. Uh, a year from now yeah. or two years from now probably because it's yeah. always slower yeah. than, I, than I expect so <laughs> sounds good sounds good and as you remember from our data quality uh, webinar we had I mean the first task with achieving high data quality is to just start I mean start somewhere yeah uh, so perhaps this could be a way in to do this yeah. as, as well uh, cool we are going to showcase uh, data atlas which is mm. about uh, cataloging lineage documentation uh, today uh, and perhaps we will also just give a brief walkthrough of our uh, data quality manager. Mm. Yeah, or not, you know. Yeah, who Let's knows? See. Let's yeah. see uh, how we feel Let's about see how that. It goes. But, nah, but I think that the, the one thing that we can just uh, emphasize here as well is that we have renamed our entire you know platform to data quality platform. Yeah, and data quality 
that's a huge subject, right? Mm-hmm. I mean, uh, but we mm-hmm. have we have identified two sort of lanes that we believe in uh, would would create good quality. We have mm-hmm. the data atlas where we focus on things like lineage, automated documentation. Mm-hmm. We have the catalog, being able to understand your data, see where it's coming from, and how it's all yeah. coming together. And then we also have our data quality manager uh, track which is about testing the data. All right, mm. if I have this number in my data source, I mean, you can even do a SQL query now in our test module mm. directly through your database. I mean, this is mm. very too technical. I see that yeah. I lose you already now. But that's really cool. For the customers out there mm. listening to this, mm. you, I mean, now you can do a SQL query directly to your data source, compare it to what you have in the UI in your ClickSense application. And then you don't even have to care about what's going on in the transformation because you know the data is correct, yeah. where it comes from and where it ends. So uh, that's one track. Mm-hmm. And then we also added a lot of add-ons and features, you know, export, import, and yeah. printing integration, ClickSense extension. Mm. I mean, can you just imagine going into the ClickSense application every day and you get like a nice green box saying, okay, NodeGraph has validated this data. Mm. You can expand, you can see where, where does this data come from? And mm. We will not bring in all the different transformations. Oh. We will tell you, all right, so it's coming from SAP. Yes. It's coming from this Excel sheet, maybe. Mm. All right, that's all I need to know. So, yeah, tons of new features in the under uh, add ons and integration as well. Yeah, sounds really cool. So, do you want to show perhaps a little bit? No. <laughs> yeah, maybe. All right, <laughs> I can show you. Uh, so, one thing I actually forgot, which I see on your slide as well, is. Yeah. is uh, I hope, I hope it's official since you have it on the slide. I mean, we have a, a really nice Colibra integration. Yes, it's and I think I think that's, a, that's a, I mean, of course we would like everybody to have NodeGraph as their main tool when it comes to data governance and data quality and things like that. But we, we understand that people have more tools than us and, mm. and we, we really encourage that because you shouldn't solve everything with one. Solution, right? So now we have a really good relationship with Colibra. So all the customers having Colibra can now automatically pull in the data from NoGraph into Colibra. Yeah. And this is, I will say, just the start when it comes to integration mm. from our side. I mean, we, we try to be as open as possible, both for import and exporting things, because we believe that the, the new way of using tools, mm. is you don't want to have one tool. I mean, if you look at your iPhone, yes. It, well, you maybe only have one app, yeah. but the rest of the world, they have like so many different apps because okay. that's because that's how you do it. And, mm. and that's how we see using NodeGraph is only yes, one of tool course. and it should be able to integrate with a, with a lot of other tools. Yes. All right. Sorry for that. Now I'm going to show you the 3.0. Yes. Cool. Just uh, booting the uh, computer. Yeah. Some passwords. And uh, here we have it. All right. As you can see, mm. we have redone the, the uh, sort of the landing page yep. of NodeGraph. We now have the, the two tracks that I was talking about. The data atlas, where you can find still like the Pandas Explorer, the Field Explorer. Mm. And reports now, mm. it was used to call governance, but we feel that reports is, is more in line with uh, what that feature is actually all about. Mm. Uh, but we also have the new data catalog. Cool. Uh, we have the other track, which is focusing on the quality of the data, which is the data quality manager, a new uh, and enhanced uh, version of, of, of that. And down here you will find the add-ons and integrations. Let me scroll down so you can see it. Fantastic. So you, you, don't you, have any, uh, you don't have all the integrations there? No, nah, exactly. I, I, I don't have a license yet for, no. uh, for my ClickSense extension. I'm not trusted. No. Uh, exactly. <laughs> Thank you. I, I could probably buy it from you. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so that's how we see that people will y- use this. That will be collapsed mm. uh, per default. And up here you have the, the modules that you use on a regular basis. Yeah. So we start off in, in, in our data catalog. Uh, we try to keep it as simple as possible, Google-like feeling. That's, mm. That was what we were aiming for. I mean, it's, it's very easy to do things complicated. Yes. But it's complicated <laughs> to do things easy, right? Mm. Um, but we have tried really hard to keep it as easy as possible. So even, yeah, actually, I mean, what we say in the dev environment uh, or uh, in our dev team is that even Carl should be able to use this. Yeah. That's how we sort of measure how easy it is, <laughs> right? Uh, first, first line <laughs> test. Yeah. Uh, so uh, you, you, you go into the catalog, you start typing, and uh, immediately NodeGraph will identify 
uh, things that that that's you know where you get a match. Yeah. And and we have nice little icons here showing you know do we have lineage for for this property? Uh, mm. uh, is it hot or not? Meaning do people actually use this? Mm. Uh, so uh, things like that. And, you, uh, uh, and we can, of course, you know, put a filter on mm. our search. So today we only would like to look for uh, click view applications. Mm. All right, so we have three click view applications. Uh, if I tap one of these, mm. I get a quick overview yeah. over, going okay, on. what's going on? This is my sales click view application. You can instantly see, do we have tests? That, that we run on this data, hmm. lineage, well, lineage for us, I mean, I would say 99.9% of the time we have lineage in Nogra hmm. because that's what we do, right? Yep. Uh, but you can also see where is this data being used. Let's hmm. say you find, you look for a field hmm. in, a, in the extract layer. Do we use this field anywhere? You will hmm. instantly be able to see, all right, so we use it in three different applications, uh, etc. And, uh, and from here you can actually go in and get even more information into mm. the catalog. Um, cool. And you can of course you know collaborate with with your peers you know mm. uh, when it comes to rating of the data, uh, add comments and things to it and you can of course also continue your journey within the Nodegraph platform into either the, the quality manager looking mm. at the test uh, that we are running or to the dependence explorer field explorer so uh, yeah it's uh, I think this would bring a lot of value into uh, into the uh, into all the installations and, yeah. and typical use case for this I mean we had it in our meeting last week I think it was we, we had a discussion on how have we defined this KPI in our yeah. click sales sales dashboard so we pulled up in 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 the catalog and we can instantly see that all right so we are counting everything that was about 80 percent something right yeah. all right good enough then we know yeah uh, and in an instant as well it took yeah less than no time yeah, yeah i mean i mean typically otherwise you would have to go into the expression and click mm, and, and, and maybe you don't even have the knowledge of how should i actually do that yeah. so uh that it's, it's gonna be it, it is super powerful to use um, the data quality manager. Mm. Um, I mean, uh, uh, for me, that's a, like could be a total separate webinar because yeah. it's like it is. It's a, it's it's um, this is this is a sort of a not a complicated area, but it's I mean, it takes time to understand all the features and possibilities. But I mm. mean, and I mentioned before how you can actually compare two different things, but mm. uh, there's a lot of new f features. Uh, one of the things that I really like is the possibility that you can actually enter sort of script into your test module saying that, okay, this value should always increase with at least 5%. Yes. Compared to last week or something like that. So, um, um, and then we have the add-ons and integrations that we can just quickly look at because there are some really nice features here as well. Mm -hmm. A documentation scheduler for mm -hmm. you guys been using Nogref before. I mean, you uh, you had to right-click on an application that you would like to document. Mm -hmm. uh, now you can actually schedule this and just store it automatically into to a file server somewhere. Mm -hmm. But you can also create your own documentation template mm. so, okay this is the standard that we use within our organization i expect to have my logotype up here i expect to have the date up there and, mm. and i don't need to have all the transformations remove that so mm. it's uh, it's very flexible with the template that's going on mm. export import lineage yeah we, we talked about that yeah, right, yeah. um end printing for the people using for the customers using end printing really nice to just add that mm. okay where do we actually distribute yeah. these uh things um, and the Colibra integration, as I said, that's probably yeah. just the start when it comes to integration. But yes. again, we believe really strong in a, in in partnership with with other vendors that are doing really good stuff. Yes, that's complement each other instead of competing with the same features. Yes, that's correct. Huge part. Well, uh, thank you, Oscar. Yeah. for the presentation of the tool. Hope <laughs> thank you, you. Uh, uh, believe it's uh, super exciting. As we mentioned, it's a little bit new way of looking into this entire scope where we're in. Uh, yeah. We are super confident uh, that it will uh, uh, help 
um, our customers even further in this in their data quality data journey. Um, cool. Anything else you want to add? No, now yes. when you got the time. Exactly. The so that's the customers. <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, again, I, you know, I really appreciate the high. Um, uh, I really appreciate. I mean, we have super good partners now. Yes. I feel really strong around that mm. working with partners, um, and it, 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 it's really good. Uh, we have a lot of new exciting customers that yeah. we work with, and I mean, it's just super exciting that to 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 show this Nordgraph 3.0. Yes, to everyone. Um, yeah, and I mean, if you are uh, looking this at this as an ex, uh, existing customer and you want to try this out or install it, don't hesitate to reach out to us. We will help you with that. Uh, if you are uh, not a uh, Norwef customer, but you want to th test this with your own data, I mean, just log on to our webpage. I think we will have a description below. Uh, where you can easily just schedule a demo and an installation with any one of us here in the team. Yeah. Uh, and that's actually, I mean, go in and schedule a demo yeah. right away. I should say that probably. <laughs> yeah. But what I would like to say as well, I mean, now, I mean, we are talking about platform and we have all these features that I showcase, yeah. but I just want to emphasize that installing Nodegraph is still super easy, right? Yes. So uh, that was one of the major parts as well. We, we, you, we cannot make something, as you mentioned, to make something uh, complicated and easy to make something EC is complicated, yeah, so exactly. I mean, we still need to have that type of uh, thinking when we do things. Absolutely, so you install it, tell where your files are, and you're good to go. Awesome. Yeah. Cool. Thank you very much. And uh, if we don't see each other uh, prior to the summer vacations, I would wish you all a very nice vacation. And uh, let's uh, do this uh, next uh, webinar in somewhere in uh, August or September. Yeah. Am Fantastic. I, am I invited? Yeah, we, let's see. <laughs> we'll let's see. see how the reception on this is. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> cool. We'll see. Thank you. Awesome. Thank you very much, guys. Bye. Have a good one.